So I just bought this on Amazon. Reviews are pretty crazy on it. There's about 500 reviews and uh, they're all positive. So just a little backstory. My wife and I, we just bought this new TV. It's a 55 inch T TCL Roku TV. It only weighs about 40 pounds, but we're wanting to mount it on the wall that's uh, in our living room and I can't find the studs. So um, there's two metal studs on, on each side there. So I'm thinking there's probably metal studs or something going on inside. I have mounted, I would say at least 30 TVs in my lifetime. I've uh, you know been doing it since I would say when they first came out in like in the early 2000s. So I know how to mount a TV. I thought this product was interesting because it does not require you to hit the studs. It actually works like a picture frame and it supports a 55 inch TV up to 80 pounds. Uh, it does so by using nails, which extremely hesitant. That's why I read all the reviews online on Amazon. And of the 500 reviews, not one person said that their TV fell off the wall. So I wanted to give it a shot. It was pretty cheap. It was only 25 bucks. Um, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So I just unboxed it and here's what comes with, not a ton of uh, stuff. So there are your bolts, those you gotta pick which one works for your TV. Um, those connect into this thing right here, the bracket that attaches to your TV. And then you also have your nails, which go in this piece, the bracket that goes um, on the wall. There's also a level in there, but um, from what the review said, the only negative is this level sucks, which I believe it is really small, so you probably want to use a real level. But um, the back of this thing, it's got a little piece of sticky like foam so you don't damage your wall. And then it also has a security cable here in case that were to fail, it's supposed to hold it on. Here's the directions. So only tools you need are a hammer. There's Baxter, she's curious. A Phillips head screwdriver comes with the bolts. It shows uh, how to install it. You basically just nail it in. You have the level in there. I'll probably still put the level in there and then I'll use another level to verify. So it's going to the top holes of the back of the TV. Make sure when you connect in, you're not leaning on that you're actually in. And uh, then to secure the security cable. A lot of people say they don't really need that, but. I mean, again, I'm skeptical. This thing weighs about as much as a ruler would. So it, uh, it says that it holds up to 80 pounds. The TV is only 40. So and like I said, there's 500 reviews online and nobody said that their TV fell. So let's give it a shot and uh, we'll see if it actually works. So they came with a bunch of different bolts. I took the, the prime candidates and it was, it was the kind of the longer ones there. You gotta make sure you put the washer on there too. Uh, you're probably best to hand tighten these things to make sure that they're not, um, you know, you don't use a power tool. I use my DeWalt, but I just did it extremely uh, gently. And then I don't need those guys, just need those ones to make sure they're nice and secure. And uh, the, that's done. So I put the first nail in. You can see it's pretty much level with that guy. But then put the real level up in here. We'll see little off all right should be perfect so all the nails are in one piece of advice start with the middle and keep your level going because it's going to adjust as you nail in uh, the, the nails so far so good we just did a test to see if it was holding and it seems to hold doesn't look too bad i just got to run the wires now all right, so to mount, it only took me maybe 10 minutes, but I wanted to run the wires. So there's a little um, in-wall in grade rated um, extension cord that you can put through. So I just did that. That's where my studs were actually. I found them that were there and then there. Um, so yeah, now it's time to connect everything. We are all set. Wires have been uh, have fed. TVs on the wall and I think it looks pretty good.